Hello, good people, and welcome to Finer Skills Hub here. We learn, we connect, and we grow. In this short video, we'd like to go through the various zoom options in Shape Maps in Power BI. In an earlier video on this channel, we showed you how to create your custom Shape Maps using JSON files. So you can refer to that video for a full detailed lesson on this. Earlier, prior to that video, we also showed you how to create Shape Maps using custom visuals, the one from OKVis, that is also available. All the links will be posted in this video. But this is an extension of the earlier videos, where for storytelling purposes, we want to focus on how to explore the various Zoom options. So if you are game, join me in Power BI and let's get started. Okay, so it's election season in Ghana and we are using this sample Power BI report on presidential elections in Ghana to explore the various Zoom options. So this is our shape map. So this was created using the JSON file method. So what we want to focus on is that if let's say I want to zoom into a particular region and then tell a story or focus the discussion around that, how do I get the zoom to come in and out? So there are various ways to do this. We we'll explore the three options available. So before we do this, let's do a quick recap of how we create this shape map. So I'm going to delete this original one, right? So if you are new to this shape map business, it is generally available, but you just need to be sure it's activated. So you can go to file, options and settings, right? Options. So when options pop up, you go to preview features and this is shape map visual, that is if you don't see it, right? I already have it activated. So for starters, you need to insert the visual, right? So I'll come to my visuals. So the are shape maps. The one that we are looking for is this shape map, right? So I'm going to insert it. Now I fit it in the placeholder that I have designed for this, right? So as expected with Power BI, visuals you need to add the data right so for this particular one we are adding the location so in this data set the location is available in this table called map lookup so i'm coming in here and i'm going to activate region right so usually when you bring in the data it defaults to the united states shape map but we have our custom shape map so we are bringing it in so what you normally do is that you go to the format and then under map settings, okay, the map type currently is the USA states, right? We'll choose custom map, and this allows us to import our JSON file. So as I mentioned earlier, if you want to know how to create the JSON file, you can refer to the video in the description below and then get a detailed tutorial on that. So I've already created that JSON file. I'll browse and bring it in. So it's right here. So ideally, if everything works and your labels match the labels that you have in your data sets, you should have one color going through, right? So I have this, right? So this is the beginning point. So now that I have all my colors in, I need to put in a custom color for the map. So for this particular story, we want to paint the regions, the MPB1 blue, and the regions, the NDC1 green, okay? so. To do that, we have to create a special measure. So that measure is already here. So under my measures, there is a measure for map color, as you can see here. It's a simple if MPP votes, which is a measure, is greater than NDC votes. This is the color that I want. And if it is not, the reverse is the green color, which is for NDC. So we're going to import this into the map settings, right? So I'll click on my map and then come to the options for my map then come to fill colors. So it's set to green. So I'm going to use the FX, right? That allows me to bring in custom measures. So I'll come here, then change this to field value. Then I have the option to select the measure that I have created for the map color. So I'll put in the map color and then I'll click OK. So this now shows the areas that the MPP one in blue and then the areas the NDC one. So while we are here, you could make it a bit more elegant by putting in some white border lines to demarcate. So I can take off the title 
and this completes my shape map, right? So this is just a quick recap of what we did earlier in the video. So once you have this, then the storytelling begins. If you want to focus on particular regions, Power BI gives you three options, and those three options are available under your map settings. Okay, so aside the map type and all that, there is a section for zoom. So there are three here: auto zoom, zoom on selection, and manual zoom. Right. So let's go through all these and when you use them. So if I use auto zoom, right, if you hover, the tooltip says that it zooms in on ships with available data. So the basic idea is that if this is on, right, and I select any part of the report that highlights the region of the map that I'm interested in, it brings it out, right? So this can be controlled with other slices. That essentially is the idea, right? So example, if I have a slicer that is for the northern region, I click on the northern region, it zooms into the northern region, right? So that's how that works. Again, if let's say I have constituencies and I come here and I select the constituency where that constituency is, is highlighted. So it syncs to your selection, especially when you are using slices. And the good thing about this is that once you deselect, okay, reverts to its original position, right? So for this one, you cannot activate it directly. So it has to be a selection outside the map. So that is the first zoom option. Now, the zoom on selection is the one that allows you to zoom in while selecting the map, right? So I'm going to activate, turn the auto zoom off and then activate the zoom on selection. So for the zoom on selection, if you select directly, then it zooms into where you have selected. Okay. So that is how it works. For some reason, if you deselect, it stays at the zoom level. I'm not too sure why this is happening, but I figure that the way around it is to engage another slicer. Okay, so this will bring it back to the default position. So for the zoom on selection, it works directly on it, right? You can bring it back to the default zoom level by engaging other slicers, right? So that is the second zoom type. Now, let me take this off. The third one is the manual zoom, right? So usually when this is activated, you can zoom or pan directly inside the map manually using the wheel on your mouse for those who use an extended mouse or for those who use a regular touchpad you just have to hold your two fingers close to each other so if that is activated you can just use your two fingers to just scroll up and down right so this gives you a bit more control right uh -huh. so either you're using your two fingers on your touchpad or if you're using the extended mouse, you can use the wheel to be able to zoom in and out, right? So all these can help you with your storytelling, especially when you want to focus, right? So just a quick recap. So for the auto zoom, we rely on other slices to highlight the places that we've selected, right? For the zoom on selection, that is directly on the map. So you click on specific map areas, then it zooms in. Then for the manual zoom, once it's activated, using the mouse wheel or your two fingers close to each other on the touchpad, you could go in and out, right? So hopefully you picked up your lessons. Shape maps is an exciting area. So if you have geographical data, you can always use shape maps to tell a fantastic story. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you picked up some lessons. We'll see you in the next video. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number will add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.